<laughs> you, you guys made some mermaids. I'm going to give you a little bit of some history while we're going to. It's kind of interesting. Very fascinating city. And, uh, I mean, including this bridge in front of us was a bridge, oh gosh, 60 years. Uh, they cut it off, made a pier out of it, and they built a new one. Before this bridge was in front of us, it was a, a floating bridge in the 1930s that used to bring people out here to a casino. And before that, there was a ferry. And before that, Villano got its name for all the villains that were out here that were very hard to catch. Would be pirates.
particular one is a really cool Fresnel lens. And it shoots a beam once every 30 seconds and makes a kind of time and you can figure out where you are.
Maybe you can see the red windows. Yeah, the windows are so tinted that they don't need curtains. Although at night when we come by here, sometimes you can feel like the tours. Uh, the lights on. Uh, Christy peeks in. That's how we know that there's a fireplace. Next door is. And uh, a few years ago, it was like, what was going on with that house? Well, the original owner had uh, something landed on the roof. That was three years ago. Those people don't have a helicopter. And this is a good view. And if you've got panoramic on your phone, you can do wide angle. It's a great spot to do it. And you can go from the left side of the bridge all the way through the city skyline. Over here, along the waterfront on your right, and then across. So we only have one skyscraper, one big building in this whole town for the oldest city in America. That's kind of weird. I'll tell you why. That was the first and last tall village National Bank built in 1929. And that was not a good time for banks to be completed. 1929 will exceed three stories. Period. And they stopped doing it. Now I was uh, checking earlier, I think there's a that's the orange color over there or the sunset, that's because there's a fire. There's a fire over there. Really orange. Mothers-in-laws have mysteriously disappeared over the years. <laughs> and under the bridge of lions, there are lions at each end of this bridge. And the really world-famous ones are up here on the left. But boy, well, there's a pretty color there for you. Look at that. Prices because they're made of Carrera marble. They were ordered or commissioned in uh, 1924. And uh, in Italy, they uh, gathered the stone to build the lines from the uh, Carrera marble quarries. And if that sounds familiar, it's because that's where Michelangelo got his uh, material to do David and some really famous places, David, the tall naked white guy. There was Fricker Frank. Ferdinand would be a big guess, but no. Do you know what they are? You were turning around like you might know. They're high.
hard to remember, and I uh, forget all the time, and then I think about my ex-girlfriend, and then I can think of the names. Firm and faithful. Just like her. Firm and faithful. Unfortunately, when I broke up with her, she had two other letter F words for me. <laughs> you weren't anywhere near as friendly. breakfast in the United States is the Casa Blanca, Casa Blanca, and it was built by a woman who we still see often, her ghost up there in that, uh, by the chandelier on the second floor on the roof, people see her swinging a lantern, people, there's a waiting list for her room, people come from all over the world, they're sensitive to ghosts, they want to stay there. Uh, turns out St. Augustine is the second most consecutively do documented ghost city in the United States. And there's only one city more haunted than us. What, do you, what city do you think that would be? What would you guess? San Jose? Yeah, what's that? San Jose? Yeah, no, it turns out to be New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Warning light. 
and they reconsidered it. We made it 208, which is as tall as you can make something without uh, having to put a light on top and uh, lighting it from below. This one was put up in 1965, uh, and the idea was make it hurricane proof. And then they went on to use the United States did not purchase Florida until 1821. So that was after the Revolutionary War, of course. The Indians here were over six feet tall. Spanish men average about four foot six. Basis, and that became the Spanish Trail, Spanish Ball of the Union.